hey guys welcome back to my channel it's perky t um thank you for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe uh if you haven't already go ahead and follow me on my socials at perky.t on instagram i have it somewhere it's probably on the screen or down below um what else yeah first of all if you're watching this thank you so much for clicking on my video for tuning in um as you can tell today's video is going to be a get ready with me slash q a if you follow me on instagram i asked you guys to ask me some questions because okay so i recorded that video the original video was um what was it cook with me slash entrepreneurs uh how to be an entrepreneur or whatever all those clips got deleted i was sick i was mad but i was like the show don't stop so i had to figure out something else so I just told you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. So I have them written down right here on my notebook. Um, I had to write it down because I don't have a camera and I record on my phone. So, yeah. so um, y'all just gonna watch me do my hair. My mom's on the way to come get me in a minute. So I have to do this video and upload it before she comes to get me. So um, let me pause this video. So the first question is, what do you do on the days that you don't have your son? So typically if it's a day that I drop off Eli, that's my son's name. If I drop him off to the dad house or something, um, what do I do? I go hang out with a friend or something. I go to the mall, I go do stuff that I usually have issues doing with him because you know, it, it's, granted, it's kind of hard to do stuff with him. You know, he's a baby. I have to pretend to him every five minutes or whatever. Now, granted, in public, he is pretty good. But, you know, he's still a baby. So, he still needs me to like, carry him, feed him, change him. So, I go to, like, the mall or I go to, like, out to eat or something. Something that I would enjoy doing by myself. Uh, what else? Or, or a nap. But that's rare because I try to use that time to, like, do stuff I really want to do or I might clean up my room I clean up or something you know stuff that's I, stuff that I usually don't do when he's here I'm not clean up but stuff that's hard for me to do when I have him I try to do that um the next question is y'all are personal is how the next question is how is Fred doing now, I'm not going to get too deep into that. If you know who Fred is, you know who Fred is. See, we don't, you don't. Uh, I don't know how Fred's doing. Last time I talked to him, he was doing pretty good, you know, mixed in. So, like, he really, he really grew up a lot. And I'm so proud of him. Like, I probably get So, Fred is, like, my first love or something, right? That's all I'm going to say. But, uh, yeah, he's doing good. Um, I think about him a lot. I don't know. I hope he's doing good. I haven't heard from him in a minute, but last time I talked to him, he was doing really good. So we're gonna leave it at that. How's this? How's the business? Um. Okay. So if you don't know, I do have a business called PerkyThings.co. Um. Uh, it's currently I currently shut it down at the moment because I'm trying to rebrand myself or whatever. I really want to just branch out and rebrand myself, but rebranding means money. And yeah, and I really stopped once like literally as soon as i had eli i stopped selling it i think yeah the day before i went to labor i shut the website down or whatever um because i'm like i'm really trying to find a balance y'all of doing me and being a mom because it's all this is all so new to me like i only had i had eli's been here for eight months and yeah so but it's doing good. I'm just trying to rebrand. I'm also branching out to other stuff. Um, I'll speak on that later. So YouTube is a, one of the things I'm trying to branch out into. So I had to cut off the video. But one thing I can say, if you have a business, please be consistent. Please take it from me. Please be consistent no matter what you're going through, no matter how many sales you get, no matter what's going on in your life, be consistent. Because the moment you stop, it's it's so much it's so hard to jump back in eli doesn't want me to be great 
Um, the next question is, as of on, how does it feel being a mom? I'm proud of you, by the way. Thank you so much. I was going to stop you. Thank you so much. Um, how does it feel being a mom? Thank you. I hope you're honest. Uh, it's, I love my son so much, and I'm glad I have him. But it's hard. It's so hard, and I really, 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 really recommend if, you know, if, please wait to have kids. If you have kids, please just wait to have kids till you're financially stable and you have somebody on your team because doing this by yourself is so hard. It's so hard. And I was like, I, you never catch a break. And we do catch a break for like 15 minutes. It's mentally just, it's hard. I love him to death though. Like, you know, I, like I look at him and like, I can't imagine my life without him. But it's hard. If you ha don't have kids, keep that way. Uh, unless you really want kids then. But I was teen, no kids. And look at me now. Uh, are you mentally? Mentally, I'm just trying to hang in there. I've been going through so much. And it's like, I, I just feel stuck. And I feel like, you know, I've been getting crossed by family, friends. But, you know. Uh, I just try to stay in there. Let's see what I mean. I gotta keep on stopping. But, um, what I was saying, I just try to stay in there trying not to get discouraged i really been like i'm on this journey of like manifesting and like, staying positive and stuff and trying not to lose my cool because it'd be so hard i feel like every day i get tested then i gotta it's like I, I don't have time to take care of my mental because i have to take care of eli so um to sum it up i've just been holding on and i really pray that things get better in my life because right now it my life sucks so bad i know some people have it worse but I, right my life sucks really really bad right now um why did you cut me off um okay so i don't know what it is like but i don't agree first of all i didn't cut nobody off i just Whatever. I don't agree with the whole okay, I feel like men want women to be so easy. And men want you to do this that the third with them or whatever. But I don't even know you. I don't know you. You never took me on a date. You never I don't like and so it's like once I feel like you're trying to try me or like belittle me or like treat me like I'm less or whatever I'm I'm done like I'm it's too much out here for me to settle so either you get it or you don't you love uh the next question is why you don't vote with me for real I do what are you talking about whoever the person that asked that I do you just I mean why did we stop talking we still cool. It's just, you know, we grown. We ain't not in high school no more. So we got our own lives and stuff. And people, it's hard to, like, you know, catch up, chat. Especially me. I'm a mom now. So I, all my time is to him. I don't have time to go be myself. I just be a mom all day, every day. So, uh, but I would love to, like, catch up with you and stuff. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Let's see, Eli will be 10 and I'll be 33. Hopefully by then, well not hopefully, by then I will be a successful YouTuber and all my businesses that I want to branch out will be successful. I'll be able to take trips or whatever extracurricular activities Eli wants to be in. I'll be able to put him in that without any financially i want to be financially free in 10 years i want to be financially free mentally free i want to be happy because i've been miserable for so long 
So I want to be happy in 10 years. I'd rather that's. And I don't even got to be rich. I always say I never got to be rich. I just want to be financially stable. That's it. I want to be a successful YouTuber. I want to be able to go out and just say I. I want to be able to say I live life before I die. Uh, yeah. This video was really depressing. Um, how's your love life? My love life. Uh, I don't have a love life. Uh, last person I was really with was my the father of my child, and obviously we're not together anymore. Um, men are stupid. Not all men, but men are trash and insensitive and rude. Um, so yeah, my love life. I'm single. I'm single, not ready to mingle. I'm gonna be happy without a man. Amen. What it do, fool? Hello. I miss you guys. I miss you and your brother. What's up? What's up? Somebody said what's up. I said what's up back. Y'all cannot focus in this video. So if you made it to this far, I really appreciate you for still being here. Cause this is hard. Uh, what made you start being a successful entrepreneur? Um, I'm not where I want to be yet. And I really think, okay, so I was looking at that, that question. I was like, people really think that my life is like, you know, this grand finale type thing. My life is not that. Uh, I'm not where I want to be yet, but... What made me want to be an entrepreneur is I hate working for people. I hate working for people. I hate, I just hate working for people. And I love, I know what I like and I know I have interest in, I know where I want to be. And so I just took that and ran with it. Um, yeah. So that's all for this video. I don't have any more questions and I'm agitated. Um, but I had to get this video up because I was just that being posted by the dance. So thank you guys for watching. Pretty face, pretty waist. She's a dinner plate. She's the reason that my heart gon' break. If she walk away, I look up.